The Royal Dutch Shell Group is one of the biggest and most successful players in the international energy scene today. Shell International came into existence through a merger in 1907 between the Royal Dutch Petroleum Company and Shell Transport and Trading Company. Shell is truly a global corporate entity present in over a hundred countries, forming one of the world's largest enterprises. The Shell Group is involved in oil and gas exploration and production, as well as refining, transportation and marketing. The group also has interests in coal, metals and various other businesses. Shell's entry into the subcontinent dates back to 1928. In 1948, the Burma Shell Oil Storage and Distribution Company of Pakistan was formed, subsequently taken over as Pakistan Burma Shell, PBS, in 1970. In 1993, Shell became a majority shareholder in PBS and Shell Pakistan came into being. Shell International, or if you like better said, the Royal Dutch Shell group of companies, consists of over a thousand operating companies worldwide, operating in over 110 countries worldwide, with a total turnover last year of something in the order of 131 billion US dollars. We employ 72 or 73 nationalities abroad and over 7,000 expatriates at any one time. So we're a huge company and are probably the most international of any multinational company. Our corporate philosophy can be summed up very simply. We're there to serve the customer. We have to be sure that customers' needs are fully met uh, by everything we do. And it doesn't matter whether we're selling products, in other words, we have to make sure that the quality is right, or whether we're moving products through a town, we want to make sure that the security of that we have a duty to protect the interests of our customers. And that is what drives us. For Shell, change has always meant challenge and new opportunities, but never at the cost of its core values, which is why the slogan, you can be sure of Shell, becomes more than a slogan. It becomes a philosophy in itself. Shell's marketing philosophy is basically giving the customers what they want to provide good quality products to them through our own professional staff and those staff who actually understand about customer service. Now we want to put all that under the umbrella of the world's biggest brand and make it so that every customer really believes you can be sure of Shell. So you can see we plan to be here for the long term and our overriding aim that we're going to be the best oil company in Pakistan. Shell Pakistan, headed by the managing director, is at present divided into five functions. Human resources, finance, marketing, operations and planning. Shell's marketing business consists of retail, consumer, aviation, petrochemicals, lubricants, technical and brand departments. Worldwide, Shell's retail business supplies motorists with fuels and lubricants through some 50,000 retail sites selling about 280 million litres daily, making it the largest retailer of automotive fuels and lubricants in the world. In Pakistan, retail represents 70% of Shell business. The retail department's sales are primarily served by Shell service stations 
which sell motor vehicle fuels and lubricants. Geographically speaking, the retail department has segmented Pakistan into eight regions. Karachi, Hyderabad, Quetta, Multan, Faisalabad, Lahore, Peshawar, and Pindi. Retail is also engaged in selling fuel oil and kerosene through its agency business. Shell Retail is also expanding its activities into another area. These are services provided to customers at service stations including convenience stores called select stores, jet washes, tire shops and lube oil change facilities. Shell is a wild company which has made a lot of people in 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 किस तरह से वो डिजाइन बनाया जाए जो कि एक साथी को सुहृद दे तब तक कम आए किस किस्म के कलर्स इस्तेमाल किए जाएं ताकि कस्टमर को पसंद आए रात के वक्त लाइटिंग का जो इफेक्ट है उसका खास ख्याल रखा गया है लाइटिंग इस किस्म की हो कस्टमर को पसंद आए और जब तक कि पंप में जाए वो अपने आप को समझे कस्टमर जब हमारे पंप पर आए तो ये महसूस हो ख्याल शेल में एक ऑक्टेन मीटर एजाद किया इस ऑक्टेन मीटर को दुनिया भर में पहला मुल्क है जिसमें ये इसको हम ले आए हैं और इसको हम इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं और हमने मोबाइल वैन जो क्वालिटी वैन जिसको हम कहते हैं वो हमने मार्केट में शुरू कर दी है वो पंप से पंप पर जाती है क्वालिटी चेक करती है कमीन स्टोर का जो कॉन्सेप्ट है इसका तल्लक जो है हमारी जो कोर बिजनेस है या फ्यूल बिजनेस है उसको सपोर्ट करना है डीलर्स जिनका मार्जिन इस वक्त बहुत कम है उनको उनकी इनकम में सपोर्ट करना है और एक प्रेमिस के ऊपर जहाँ पर हम पेट्रोल या डीजल बेचते हैं वहाँ पर कस्टमर को ऐसी सहूलत दे, देने का भी हमारा एक नज़रिया है कि हम उनको ये सहूलत दें कि वो जब पेट्रोल लेने आए उनकी जो जरूरिया चीज़ें हैं वो उनको वहाँ मिल सकें The consumer department's activities revolve around providing fuels and lubricants to large commercial customers. These include powerhouses, textile units, cement and sugar mills, railways and defense. Unlike retail, the consumer department has divided its operations into three geographic regions supplemented by sales through head office. The variety of the business these large-scale clients conduct and the specific needs ensure that the consumer department works in a close relationship with the technical department. This ensures that fuels and lubricants provided to each client are of the right quality and that they are utilized in the best manner possible so as to guarantee maximum satisfaction to the client. The range of industries that requires these lubricants gives rise to a large portfolio of lubricants such as Omala gear oils, Argina and Gardena marine oils, Clavis, refrigerating oil, and Micella for gas engines. As with all departments, the consumer department strives to fulfill Shell's corporate ethos. You can be sure of Shell by providing customers the right quality, quantity, and service. Shell's aviation marketing department is responsible for marketing aircraft fuels and lubricants to both domestic airlines such as PIA, Bhoja and AeroAsia and international airlines such as Swiss Air, Lufthansa, Aeroflot and Emirates. Fueling facilities are available at the airports of Karachi, Lahore, Islamabad, Quetta, Nawabsha and Sakhar. Customers for aviation fuel also include the Air Force, Army and Naval Aviation. The major fuels sold are Jet A1 for commercial carriers and Avgas for smaller planes and military aircraft. The Aviation Department takes care of most of its operational activities, managing its own storage depot at Karachi Airport from where operations are conducted. These include the supply of other products 
such as marine lubricants, demineralized water and autofuels. Petrochemicals are an important contributor to the company's overall profitability. The Shell Group is among the world's largest in the chemicals business, with chemicals exceeding a tenth of total Shell sales. This department is responsible for the import and marketing of a wide range of industrial chemicals, which include chemical and hydrocarbon solvents, aromatics, polyurethanes, resins and other specialty products. The imported products are received at Karachi and stored at the Shell Chemical Installation at Kimari. These products are then distributed through a highly efficient and large tank lorry fleet to various customers throughout Pakistan which include pharmaceuticals, pesticides, printing ink and adhesives, textiles and resins, packaging, paints and detergents. Shell is the world leader in lubricants and caters to specific customer needs by marketing a diverse range of automotive and industrial grades of lubricants. The Shell Lube Oil Blending Plant is responsible for producing lubricants by blending base oils with additives and finally packaging them for distribution. Recently, Shell Pakistan rolled out its range of automotive lubricants, Rimula for diesel engines and Helix for gasoline engines. Packaging is a department that Shell constantly strives to improve. Care is taken to ensure that all packaging is tamper-proof so that the customers know they can be sure of Shell. In addition, a lot of research goes into making tamper-evident designs, ensuring quality product to the user. The Shell brand is one of the Shell Group's most valuable assets, which has been built up for nearly a century. All Shell staff is responsible for guarding and protecting it jealously and in particular ensuring that its visual identity at all times adheres to Shell standards. The Shell emblem called the Pectin has changed over time to keep in line with the company's modern image but as such it still recaptures the simplicity of the Shell corporate philosophy, its core values which are upheld worldwide. In Shell's opinion, our two most powerful and valuable assets are our people and our brand. Our people because they make our business happen and are in fact our number one customer. And our brand because, well, because the Shell brand has for nearly a century stood consistently for values that are important to our customers. To provide the relief, the, the trust, the few, good, it's Shell factor. All this leads to the statement, you can be sure of Shell, which is in fact the strap time that we use and we mean all over the world and now in Pakistan. And all this, of course, encapsulate, is encapsulated in our pectin, which is designed to be instantly recognizable and which we guard jealously. The brand and marketing economics department looks after every aspect of the brand, from organizing product launches and sports sponsorships right down to shell calendars and corporate business gifts. The department is responsible for the advertising used by the company and in addition the market research which allows it to understand its customers and their needs. It also tracks the overall impression of Shell in Pakistan by a form of market research called brand tracking. The department is also responsible for marketing economics activity. This includes analysis of the market and its trends. The company sets annual targets and performance against these targets is measured by the department. It also represents marketing's view on various projects concerning industry forecasting, scenario building, infrastructure debate such as refineries, pipelines and port facilities and any oil industry regulatory change. A separate department from sales, the technical department plays an important role in ensuring that the customer is provided with the right quality petroleum products. In the case of retail sites, 
Quality control vans are equipped with state-of-the-art quality monitoring instruments like Shell's patented octane meter and lube testing kits. These vans constantly visit different pumps to do random quality testing on the fuel being sold. The technical department is also responsible for advisory services for large consumer clients as to the right type of lubricant to use and to report back any grievances customers may have. The department has extensive laboratory facilities which not only analyze samples sent by technical officers but are also responsible for research into higher quality, environment-friendly fuels. We wish to grow with the economy here in Pakistan. We are striving to improve the infrastructure which has been underinvested for many years. Um, we're looking at possible natural gas projects. We're looking to see whether, together with our partners in PRL, we can expand the refinery. And of course, we're looking at pipeline, uh, product pipelines to move the product safely from the coast into the interior, up to the Punjab and beyond. Um, these projects together over the next five years could well mean that Shell Pakistan is going to have to find uh, large amounts of money, probably several billion rupees. And one of our problems is that with very slim margins at the moment, although the government has raised these twice in the last 15 months, and we're grateful for that, uh, we're not generating sufficient cash yet. I'm optimistic, though. I think uh, there is a huge potential in Pakistan. And above all, what has impressed me is the way our own staff and our new recruits have responded to the challenge. There is a lot of talent in Pakistan which we aim to, if you like, unleash for the good of Pakistan.